Okay, a little New Day Cleveland grilling. This is the time to do it. We're headed to Lighthouse Pools for some great tips and uh, check out the uh, big green egg. Check it out. I'm having a party in my mouth. It looks that way. I gotta show you. <laughs> so this came off a big green egg. Yes, it did. I gotta tell you, man, it's got that smoky flavor. It's got that charcoal flavor kind of thing. I mean, this is happening. How does the egg do it? The egg does it by sealing on all the flavor and the, and the juices into the uh, into the meat that you're cooking. Uh, because of it's made out of the ceramic material that it is, it's got a glaze on the outside that seals everything in. You've got absolute control over the temperature and the heat, and it's very easy to use and very quick to cook on, and it just gives you, it's tasting food for the first time if you've never eaten on a big green egg. Is this a toy, this size one here? It's a toy, yes, <laughs> <laughs> but but a functional toy. It is a great one, because I, I I talked to a guy last week and he was telling me he takes us to Ohio State for tailgating, mm -hmm. the Browns games, all that yep. kind of thing. That's a beautiful item, but let me, let me just direct your attention over here to the, which, which one is this called? This is the, uh, the, the XL. Let me reveal the interior of the XL Big Green Egg, my friends. Look at that going. We got bacon cooking in there and a couple more of these big babies like I had. This is a pork one, I think, wrapped around some peppers and cheese. Mm -hmm. and yes, it's it a nice is. item. So tell me how this is working in here. Well, what we got going on underneath the uh, plate is the actual natural lump charcoal. Um, it's, we use, light it with starters, we don't use any fluids, we don't use anything artificial that will taint the taste of the food. How long does it take to light it? Uh, it takes about a minute to get it lit. Mm -hmm. About seven to ten minutes, it's up to temperature. Okay, I got a bunch of charcoal in there. When I'm done cooking, do I lose all my charcoal or what happens? No. Seal off the bottom, seal off the top. It'll starve the oxygen and it'll put itself out and whatever charcoal is left will remain there for the next burn. So if I get a bag of charcoal, how long is it gonna last me? Like a bunch of times? Oh yeah, absolutely. You a get a total of, of um, 29 hours out of a bag of charcoal. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's like a bag, a, a tank of propane or something. Sure. And look at this, what, what's this? I don't wanna touch because I know it's hot, but so how, how does this work? Is that how you stop yeah, it? Yeah, this is, this is how you're going to regulate the flow of air going through. Okay. So now, it, now it's going to get hotter in there. It's going to get hotter in there. Even so. though you're letting, it looks like air's going out, you're really taking air in. Well, it's coming in through the bottom. Uh-huh. So there's a, it's, it's sucking air into the bottom and letting it out through the top, and that's what's going to create the, uh, the, the flow that you need to regulate the temperature. So when you first start it up, you've got everything wide open. Get it up to the temperature that you want. Once it's there, you close down the gate down here below to about a quarter of an inch, open this to right here, and it'll maintain whatever temperature you have it set at. Okay, and you know, we're talking, this thing's heavy. Like that top of the, I mean, this is, this this is a heavy duty rack, big wheels on it here. It is extremely heavy You duty. can wheel it around, but that's what holds the heat in there, right? Yes, it because is. Because it's that big ceramic body. Yeah. Okay, and I, we got a couple of sizes there. So this is the big one. Like, if you're cooking for like, what, four, six, eight people all the time? Oh, you can cook for more than that. More? Yeah. Lots. Lots of people on that. Here's something I really dug, too. I noticed this back here on this egg. What size egg is this? This is the large egg. This is the large. This okay. is the large. This is for your normal family of four to six. So I could put I could put different things on here. Like I could put some vegetables on one area, some meat on another if mm -hmm. I wanted, or just different like hot dogs, hamburgers. Yep. You can multi-layer it and cook many. You can cook a whole four or five course meal at one time on the egg. Some guy told me that he made a uh, leg of lamb in this thing, and he said it's the best leg of lamb he ever had. The same guy told me he had the best hot dogs he ever had. So I mean, how do you make a hot dog better? I guess you put it in a green egg. Put it in a green egg. When you first fire it up and want to and get it up to temperature, open this all the way up. There's a gate down here that you open all the way up, allow all the air in, full mm -hmm. airflow. About 10 minutes, you're up to 700 degrees. You can sear your steaks if you're cooking steaks mm -hmm. or any other type of meat on there. I noticed too, a lot of great accessories here. We got the egg cup. We got the charcoal starter. We got the big green egg charcoal that, that that's, that's extra special. You got these trays. You even have a big like a, a kitchen counter kind of There's thing. There's a big kitchen counter cart as yeah, well. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of great things. And what size is this egg? This is the medium. This is the medium. So if you're going to get one for your house, your family, which one would you get? It'd be the large right here. The large one right there. Yeah, I've got a big family. Yeah, and, and you know how to cook. And what, <laughs> what about a price range from beginning to end? Uh, beginning to end, you're going to be anywhere from uh, a few hundred dollars on up to a couple thousand. And, and this thing's going to last your whole life. You will. It's the last one you'll ever own. That's terrific. Lighthouse, pools and spas. Check out Rob. What store are you at? I'm down in Canton, Ohio. How many stores do you guys have? Fifteen. Fifteen. Easy to find. And uh, if you decide you wanted one, say, on a Wednesday, could you get it delivered to your house in time for, say, Saturday or Sunday? Yeah. Father's Day's coming up right around the corner. Give Dad a nice big green egg. Lighthouse, pools and spas. Okay, if you love food,